it's the second of my and I drove down to Yule now because Yule is 40 years old today. Gratulerer med da da! Tusen 40 år? Du ser 30 ut da! Ja, det er bra. Vi arrived today. Together with this. And this. This is for the app. The expert. We too. This we too. Partner. Sprinter outside. Show outside and uh, Citroen Jumpy is coming. No, Citroen something is coming. Maybe this is for the sprinter, you can put it in a sprinter. It's going to be a couple of busy months now coming up. I just arrived here at Varna Karting and Tommy ran straight over to me and asked why I didn't advertise for Darkin Varmepumpe last time in the last video. Tommy? I'm sorry for that, because Tommy is the guy who delivered the, delivering the Darkin. I'm really happy with the Darkin, Tommy, the Darkin is great. Darkin is the best. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> Guys, now I'm going to show you how great Jun is. This is a trophy I have from Slovakia Ring, European Touring Car Championship. And I have a couple of more, and I showed Jun this blanket. Because one of the trophies I had, from uh, Mugello, there was no stick or anything on it. So I had a trophy here, and I thought it was a little bit shit since there's no sticker on it. And this is a P1 from Imola, and it had been cool to have blanket on it, you know? So then, <coughs> Jun from the other sign I showed you, <laughs> made this <laughs> to have there. He made different ones also. And he made like this to have here. <laughs> That's how great Jule is. He's amazing. There it go. This is glued on, so this has to dry before I take the tape off. All right. Huge thanks to Jule and happy birthday, Jule. Forty years old, you look like thirty. I'm now on the ferry. More sorten, I'm going to Anneby to drive some go-kart, but I'm also going to deliver this helmet to Marius Orberg Hansen. It's so fresh, I didn't have time to put it together at the workshop, since the clear coat was painted one hour ago. So I'm mounting it here now in the car. Hey yeah, Marius! Very well, Sam. Happy with new helmet. Very good. Looks really professional. Yeah. Luis Vilgas. You cannot show that because I have spawned some hurt with <laughs> Good luck for the season. Yesterday I was at Anneby. I didn't make a movie there, I forgot. And today I'm at my good friend's place, Tian Sölje Motorsport. I need more karting parts now. <laughs> there have we the big boss, jo. Yeah. That is nice to see that you also do some work, Tian. Yes, sometimes huh? I do. All right. Where is the red Alpine star I want to have? I guess it's this one. Hey, 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 bingo. Holy shit, they all have a lot of stuff on the, on the warehouse now. I need go-kart tires. Where is he keeping those? Oh, Tony car chassis grejer. Oh, la la. Yeah, a lot of new go-karts here, actually. This one was cool. Cosmico. Tuft. Here's the Conte, here's the tires. Hmm. Hvor er sånn du skal... Nå skjønner du at det er store forholdstider når du må ha sånn steie på jobben. Det er store gutta som har, vet du. Kim. You have been in my vlog before, so this is no problem. Ja. 
Can you speak English? Ja? Helvete, ja. Det är rätt. Yes. Happy with the new helmet? Extremely. Yeah, that's good. You should be, because it turned out really nice. The funny thing is, I sent the Kim here picture during the process, and he asked me, where did you send this helmet still? To which guy did you send it to paint it? <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Kim. No one else. It's only me. Good luck with the season. Thank you. Ska jag spröta på förra låskar så det blir bra? Trycka det. Hä? Trycka det. Nej, men det blir grejt. Då tar vi nästa punkt där. Och ska jag prova att vara lika bra som där då? Ja, lycka till. Få se. Det blir en klok. <laughs> Are you for nothing, my dear? All right, it's time to make the walls inside here done. This room actually have to be done as fast as possible. We can start turning on put the cables inside the wall there, cut out, and tomorrow I'm going to start to put the uh, mirpus on the walls. Yep. Yeah. Electric motor. Always good service. Hyggelig folk og gode priser. Nå er det å hente det jeg trenger til å ha i veggen på mikserommet. Kom igjen Joakim, vi har ikke tid til å shotte litt da. Det her er jo din jobb. Kom igjen, åtte stykk. Det er to. Tydelig at du har times betalt Joakim. Paid by hour. Hæ? Ja, den er det halv pris på. Ta den ned. Ja, ta den ned. Halv pris. Takk så. Den vi har i gang. Her kan du ha dette, dette, dette vall. Og dette er det planen å gjøre nå først i dag. Dette her, begge sider har drivet for en tid. Så nå har jeg sandet det. Søftelig. Mot denne vallpisse. Her har jeg tatt vallpisse av, og nå vil jeg smøte denne kornet. Som du kan se. I'm gonna smooth it out. First of all, I'm gonna try to use this one, and it's important to go this way, not that way, because then I can't can break it. I think I should also make it a little bit wet. Now I'm trying to use this one. Wet. And Jeg tror det vil gjøre en smooth overgang. Det ser ut som det. Dette vallet er gjort. Over der er det gjort. Dette er gjort. Både sider er gjort. Jeg har også gjort det her. Jeg skal vente litt nå, og jeg skal sende dette til. This wall is also done now. It's not perfect here, as you can see there, it's not so nice, but most of this wall is going to be covered with reoles and stuff. I'm going to have a huge bench over here, where I'm going to airbrush my helmets and stuff. So tomorrow I'm going to do the rest on this wall. Up there, that's going to be difficult. Yeah. It's a new day. Now I prepared here, over there, and I'm going to try to organize this corner. And this wall down there. Saturday. Yeah. How are you going to do that? As always. <laughs> Plan today. Clean up the complete workshop. I have to organize a lot today. For me, Jon? Yes. Okay. As always. Okay. Here we're going to start to clean up today. As much as possible. Now we're going to... Vacuum clean the floor because this room is actually done with puss. I made it finish yesterday. We're gonna just clean up the floor like I said and we're gonna start to put some reoles here to have a little bit storage here so long. This is the reol we're gonna turn up now. Clean the plates because they was dusty. I think maybe I should try to sell some car now in the future. Actually one of the sprinters is, is sold, I think. So that's good. That's good, Jon. 
and now Jon is quickly cleaning some more hyller while I'm filming because now we're going to bigger hyller here and hopefully fit a lot of this stuff inside of it Jon as normal we didn't we didn't manage we didn't manage what I was hoping to but we've been pushing really hard today and we managed what we managed really good I thought yeah let's take a look then this is sorted out this is trash and we clean it a lot of the stuff we was organizing that took a lot of time this is trash both of these have to be organized table is out there and we put up this one so as you can see it start to help we yeah made this and this is the old tent wall for the races and we don't use it so we thought it would be nice there and john yes, sir. we start to put some pallet in there i don't remember now if i showed you guys but we have a hill there and we have this one so thanks john you're welcome buddy as always it's a pleasure working with you see you in a couple of days eh? see you monday monday Today is Monday and it's a red day holiday in Norway. And the crazy guy, Jon, just went behind there. <laughs> He's here helping me again today. I don't know what I should do with, done without you, Jon. No, I, I had been lost then. Yes, <laughs> Jon. Yes, sir. We did it. We did it. Okay. Now it starts to look like something. Soon there. <sighs> Something also managed now. Take off this one. That's good. Now I'm gonna just lift in this and park the cars and I think it's game over. Don't remember if I showed you guys, but for a while ago I went in with the forklifter and it touched this list and took it off. So the gate was not smooth anymore. So. Uh, Thought when the sun is out, it was out. Gonna glue this back on, so it's back in one piece. Hopefully, it will work out. This one is sold to my friend, but we're gonna paint all the plastic white, 17-inch rims, and then it's gonna be really nice, actually. I think actually this project John, is the last one of this vlog because I think this is too far already. So, really good. We're going to change this door now. We're going to move it and change it. I want to have a door with glass so we get some sunlight in. This is the door we're going to use. My brother is here also now. He has been in uh, Japan. Japan. Japan, Tokyo. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Drag some sake, though. Okay, it's a thing. <laughs> Now we're going to remove some from the bottom and we're going to remove this top piece because with this is too high. There we go, door has the right size now. So, door is out. Now we're going to move the hole. Whoa! Stay there you dickhead. Now we're going to move the hole and make it a little bit higher and then we are good. Luckily now, Niklas showed up. Because if you hadn't show up now... <laughs> yeah, because four of us now were struggling to get this door up because it's three layers of glass. It's super heavy, so... Thank you, Niklas! Now we know how on. Oh, yes. So Jon, this is the end of the video. Hey. Thanks, Bye. thanks for everything in this one. My mom and dad just arrived home from vacation. My father needed a trailer to bring those those home with, so I bought this one. Seeing it now for the first time, I regret I bought it because it's too short. I should order the longer one. I bought sell it and you don't any. But it looks looks cool then. Yeah. It's too short. Yeah. <laughs> it's too short. We're gonna try to sell it and if you don't manage we keep it. Yeah. So.
not so we do it. But it's a multi transport hanger, so it's nice. It's looking good. Thanks for now. <laughs>